You know the drill. Then when me reacting to stuff. And look at the surprise we found in the end. Just <gasps> right! <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> you don't wanna miss this. How's it going, guys? But before we get into it, make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe with all notifications if you haven't already. I will gladly appreciate it. And if you don't like the content, you can always unsubscribe. But for now, enjoy. And welcome to another reaction video with Deno. Hello there. Today, we're going to react to 10 dumbest things billionaires own. Millionaires own a lot of stupid shit, don't they? Oh, wait, no, no, not millionaires, Deno. Billionaires. Billionaires? Oh, it's even... <laughs> why, why, why make billions if we can make millions, am I right? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> the trend apparently between rich people is gold, but we'll have to see. Let's go. There's only Let's so see. many zeros in your bank account before you start buying incredibly that dumb stuff that costs insane oh, amounts of money. How does a $213,000 shirt sound? Yeah, rich people what? buy what? a lot of dumb stuff. So today how? I'm gonna remind what? myself it's, I'm it's, incredibly yeah, it's, poor. By the way, can I just point out how much gold there is? <laughs> already? <laughs> yeah, but that, 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 it's the gold standard, really. Uh, rich people buy a lot of dumb stuff. So today, I'm going to remind myself I'm incredibly poor and I'm a huge loser by counting down the 10 most <laughs> expensive dumb poor. things bought by rich people. Don't add to my stream! Like so we all feel better. Let's uh -huh. to number 10. <laughs> Cell phones have become a necessity in today's world, be it through yep. surfing the web or using them to call friends and family. Basically, everyone and their dog has one. Just in billionaire fashion, of course, you gotta take that over the top too, and what better way to do that than to create a $15 million iPhone? How? I mean, what? there's a lot of diamonds? That makes sense, right? There's a lot of diamonds. That would be a lot of a prize. This random businessman from Hong Kong's iPhone 5 is absolutely covered in gold and diamonds. Not just any diamonds, yeah, but an it's extremely rare 26 karat black diamond. It's so as well, old. I'm not joking, he literally used that as his home button. Phones these days don't even have a home button. <laughs> you could have all the fame and fortune in the world, but million, if you can't Jesus share it with someone Christ. like a dog, Sick. is it really worth it? Oh, okay, no. yeah, I'll be specific, but let's be real. Dogs are man's best friend for a reason, and what better way to spoil yeah. them than a $3.2 million collar? Yeah, with 1,600 hand-placed diamonds, this collar is sure to make your dog an absolute icon. Are you Where serious? it isn't covered it's in a, diamonds, it's... it's blinged out with 18 karat white gold, and the strap is made no! from literal crocodile leather. I just have to pause it there. I'm sorry, Dino. I'm disgusted. For the dog. The dog, <laughs> trust me, I, 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 I'll, I'll give you my word. The dog doesn't give a shit. The dog would rather have, the, like, a... The dog would rather have, like, a little treat. Like, a little... I don't know, instead yeah, of this it'll collar. be much happier with that. The senior Move editor on. of Forbes even called it the Bugatti of dog collars, and it's easy to see why. This is Ava. She's wearing the first pick, a $3.2 million diamond dog collar. Known by its maker as Amor Amor, this collar is just over the top and is also the most expensive dog collar on the market. Oh, you don't I say. love my dog, but even if I had that much spare cash lying around, I don't think I would get him this, or would I think they no. want it? Like, the irony is, I feel like the dog would probably choose a piece of pepperoni over this collar. That's literally yep. what I just said. That's literally, that's literally what you just <laughs> said, and you're right! You're right! Number eight. Supercars are a pretty Ooh. average thing for billionaires to own. That's I not... mean, who wouldn't want to buy a new Lambo or Ferrari if you had infinite money? Infinite this money? entry is taking that whole idea and pretty much cranking it what? to an entirely different level. That's... Owned it's so ugly! Here, this particular vehicle is a Mercedes SL600, worth an estimated $4.8 million. Since the Prince oh, was reported by Forbes as that. one of the top 10 richest people in the world... Wait, what? what, what, what no, no, no. This... Are we really surprised? $4.8 million is probably what he uses as toilet paper when you're that rich. This sick Mercedes is encrusted with 300,000 diamonds and is easily the most expensive car of its make in the world. You don't say it's also one of the most well, definitely ones. one of the dumber spots on this list, but when you keep watching, you'll find out that this rabbit hole goes even deeper. Oh God. Number seven. We've seen a few items on this list hey. be coated in gold or diamonds already, so let's get a little crazier and talk about this solid gold bathroom. Located in Manhattan's what? Soho neighborhood, this is a master bath in a $12 million loft. The price tag on the entire apartment I'll is bet. enormous, but quite a large amount of that money is being- Wait, can I just point out that this- This is ugly. This is... The car was also ugly! <laughs> this is not about looking good, this is about making a statement that I have so much money, I can literally make a gold bathroom! <laughs> and still have money to spare! 
Wait, let me just say, I kind of rate the gold bathtub though. Like I will, I will check out the like the whole gold theme. Like have something white and then just the gold bathtub. Oh, the gold, the, the gold bathtub. I like that one. The rest it can go to hell. Yeah. I love my dog. I do a lot for my dog. More, but spending more millions more of more dollars dogs. recreating a mansion just for my dog is definitely not something that would come to my mind. Here we have a what? purchase made by Paris Hilton. Similar to that diamond dog collar from earlier, she is yet another rich person treating her puppies right. In fact, Paris had an entire separate mini mansion replica of her own mansion made just for all of her dogs to chill in. What? It's pretty much a pimped out dog house. It's even got <laughs> furniture and dressers with little dog clothes in it. These dogs have it good. They even have a working air conditioner and heating inside the place. What more Okay, that one has, that, that one's a bit of the collar. That, that one, one's better than the collar. That one is better than the collar, but can we just point out that these dogs are living better than a lot and a lot of humans. They're living better than most of Denmark. <laughs> Bro, take a look at that. It has furniture, mate. <laughs> what? Yeah, air condition. Oh, God. Air conditioner and heating inside the place. What more could a dog even want? Number five. A treat. We've been over a good number of questionable golden purchases so far, but this one is it. even the more odd thing, than the man. bathtub. And I know, saying that out loud sounds crazy. In what world would you ever need a solid gold toilet and matching gold toilet paper? It's gold. That is amazing. Gold handle. Look at that. The water even looks gold. Jokes aside, I have zero idea what would possess anyone to buy a gold toilet. Like, how are you even using that to flex on people? It's like the icing on the cake. You've already shown everyone your massive house, and when they need to go to the oh, bathroom, nice. boom, golden toilet. But wait, didn't he also mention like the toilet paper was gold? Yeah, but it's not. I don't get. I, I'm pretty sure that was just a bit. Just don't think about it. Are you sure? Because if not, surely that's gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> that's a pet. No, not necessarily. You can you make gold. You can make uh, you can both weave whatever the fuck the word is. Uh, gold, so it actually makes it more like paper. It would be pretty <laughs> fucking stupid, you know, wipe your ass with it and then throw it out of the toilet. It's... Well, that goes a thousand dollars. Number four. Everybody's written their name in the sand at least once in their lives. It's funny and cool. Living the life of a billionaire, of course, you gotta take that idea to the extreme. This of purchase course. was made by Hamad, a member of the ruling families of Abu Dhabi. Honestly, unlike other entries on this list, he's left his mark on the world with this one, literally. Located right. on the island of Al Futezi, Hamad decided to have his yeah. name carved directly into the island. I, I knew about this one. I actually kind of read that one, you know. I kind of read that 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 is like if I that's sick. If I had a that's lot of a money, I would do that. No, I would. <laughs> that that is one big flex. Just like oh, you don't know my name? Yeah, I'll show you on Google Maps. <laughs> Number three. When you find the right barber or hairdresser that really gives you that haircut you're looking for, it's like finding a diamond in a haystack. This is one lesson from me to you, treat them well. The Sultan of Brunei though, might be a little too generous with his. Considering that his barber gets a pretty great payday every month with him being paid roughly $24,000 per trip to Brunei, haircuts cannot be that expensive. Not only that, but he's got his housing, flight, and everything else completely covered by the Sultan as well. After having his hair cut by the same barber for 16 years, I can't blame the guy for wanting to have him out each month for a fresh new trim. Yeah. Being paid that much money every month must be nice, but imagine uh -huh. the stress each time. Like, you gotta cut this man's hair. <laughs> wait, 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 what is that face? What is that face? <laughs> you gotta do this right every single time. Why did I mention the little kid here with your voice saying that? <laughs> 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 you can't this up, I'm gonna kill you. Accidentally mess up a tiny patch or go a little too short? Ugh. And again, with a payday like that to look forward to, it's no surprise he finds himself coming back each time. On the real though, if this guy ends up calling it quits with the barbering gig, I can imagine the line of hairdressers waiting to be chosen. Number two. Oh. Art is a really odd thing. Some things sell for hundreds of dollars that are beautiful, then some yeah, works the are considered I abstract, that. like that banana tape to a yeah. wall which sold for $120,000. Unfortunately, that's not our number two entry, but it's comparable to what this spot actually goes to. This oh. piece was made by artist Damien Hurst and is literally a stuffed tiger shark encased in formaldehyde, which is some kind of liquid. The shark itself was caught and sold to Hurst for about 8,000 US dollars, but the labor required also cost him an additional $65,000. 
Here's the kicker. Compared to how much this piece of art sold for, the price he paid was chump change. Right, sold to on. Professor Stephen Cohen for an estimated $8 million, this ended up being one expensive sea creature. If I had something like this I mean, in my house, I'd probably go out to the kitchen late at night only to see it and Loki freak out. Even still, I've definitely got to say, it must be a pretty to... good talk. What? That's not one of the worst things to spend money on. I'm actually not that... That's that's pretty good. I was going to say the same thing. Like, I kind of rate this one because this is one out of one. I mean, obviously, a lot of art is like that way. But this is this is taking it to the next level. Like, I swear to God, if people are going to buy a freaking banana taped on the wall, like, that's come on. So stupid. The choice Why? is easy here. I can do art as well, then. Here, I'll... Yeah, art. <laughs> Don't know what the hell that was. Then I'll put that on the canvas and you can probably sell it for a million. <laughs> These days. <laughs> I'm, I'm making a statement about modern consumerism. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Just watch. Oh, God. See it and Loki freak out. Uh, Even still, I've definitely got to say, it I must be it. a pretty good talking sick. piece if you ever have a company. Like, oh, yeah, this is my shark. And our honorable mention goes to Lady Gaga. Lady, Lady Gaga. Gaga has always been a mysterious figure ever since her debut back in 2005, but even knowing that, I'm still scratching my head when you tell me she bought this. Probably inspired by the show Ghost Hunters, Gaga made a pretty unique purchase back in 2010 when she picked up a literal ghost detector. Better Why? Why do you think about phasmophobia right now, Daniel? She says the purchase was made after she felt like she might have a stalker she just couldn't shake. She even named the stalker Ryan and kept saying it was a... <gasps> Ryan! I knew it! Ryan. I knew it! <laughs> For our number one spot today, we've got the world's most expensive pen you'll never use. Made by jeweler Mont Blanc, the fountain pen is encrusted with an insane 4,810 diamonds. It's okay. a limited edition item only produced at a rate of eight per year and sold at $160,000 per pen. Here in the world, it is set with 4,810 diamonds and adorned with a Mont Blanc diamond on the snow cap. To put that in perspective, you could buy roughly 1.9 million Bic ballpoint pens for the price of this. I just hope it writes well for the price. Like, it looks great, but realistically, only billionaires with stupid amounts of extra cash lying around would even bother buying something like this. I mean, obviously, they're the only ones that could do it. <laughs> yeah, then you misplace it, and that's... Over a hundred hundred thousand dollars gone. Yeah, to be fair though, I didn't think this was gonna be the most I don't think this is the most ex not expensive, but out there thing. I don't think it's the most I don't think this is the dumbest. It's definitely up there, but there's there's gotta be something dumber out there. Like a hundred and sixty grand compared to the dark color that's like three point two million. I think the yeah, the dark I, I, but then again, I think it's just it's ten dumbest things. I don't think well it is actually no, he, he did place them in order like that, because he did, I don't know. Yeah, and honorable mentions. The dark color is probably the dumbest of them all, if you ask me. Yes. Considering that they only produce eight of these a year, I assume they have to sell at least that many, which is still pretty insane. Especially considering most people don't even handwrite things nowadays. Nope. In hindsight, though, it would be kind of cool to sign a check for loads of cash with one of these now that I think about it. Do me a favor. Yes. Like, I'm baffled about this video. Please, would you like to do the outro? Because I can't be asked. <laughs> you can't be asked. All right, uh, guys. That was the 10 dumbest things about billionaires buying stupid stuff. And that's going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, that's going to be a bye-bye from me and from us. Uh, bye. <laughs> I'm back like I ain't never left Take me to church here, yeah, let me confess Last year I had a lot on my mind like Tony Stark Couldn't get it off my chest But now I'm back to back like I'm Ori Reborn, yeah, everything blessed Spin the ashes, brings a new story Show, don't tell, I'ma ace this test Last year on the K on the ad